Now let's try 4 and a half plus 2 and 7 tenths. Well, we can change a half into tenths. 1 half is 5 tenths. So let's rewrite our question. 4 and 5 tenths plus 2 and 7 tenths. When we add up our whole numbers, we get 6. And when we add up our fractions, we get 12 tenths. But we can't write 6 and 12 tenths. We can't have a whole number and an improper fraction. So we need to convert those 12 tenths into a mixed number. 12 tenths is the same as 1 and 2 tenths. So now we have 6 plus 1 and 2 tenths. So we can see that our answer is 7 and 2 tenths. Now pause the video and see if you can work out 4 and 2 thirds plus 3 and 3 fifths. Well, we need to look at our denominators first. 5 isn't a multiple of 3, so we need to change both fractions. 2 thirds is the same as 10 fifteenths, and 3 fifths is the same as 9 fifteenths. So we can rewrite our question as 4 and 10 fifteenths plus 3 and 9 fifteenths. Adding up our whole numbers makes 7, and adding up our fractions makes 19 fifteenths. But we can't write 7 and 19 fifteenths. So let's change those 19 fifteenths into a mixed number. We really have 7 plus 1 and 4 fifteenths. So our answer must be 8 and 4 fifteenths.